I'm going to show you our most minimal makeup, which is the 30 second makeup, which really I think is all you need um, because you really do look terrific already. Um, so let's get started. The first step is a little concealer. all around the whole eye. This is also a moisturizing formula concealer that has vitamin A, C, E, K, and rose extract. And when you're using concealer for around the eyes, a moisturizing formula is really ideal because it doesn't get into the nooks and crannies of the skin. And if you want to take a look at the camera, you can see on Julia just one side with concealer and one side without, and already what a dramatic difference that makes. And then we could do a little foundation, but because your skin is so nice, I want to show a more minimal makeup routine. We're going to do just translucent powder. We're doing the, the powder first around the concealer, on top of the concealer, in other words, to set it. And then we're going to do the powder just all over the whole face. And it's completely translucent, so it's not going to alter the color of her complexion, but it'll just give her a nice matte finish and keep her from being shiny. And then we're going to fill in your brows using the Miracle Brow to Go Pencil. One side is brown, the other side is very light blonde. Okay, and we're gonna do, in your case, you have dark hair with blonde highlights, so I'm gonna do a little bit of the brown first. Also because your brows are a little bit on the sparse side. And then we do the blonde on top of it to soften the color. And then the blending brush is right on the cap. You just brush through. Whatever you put on your eyebrows, you always wanna brush it right through. So one brow filled with the Miracle Brow to Go pencil. Very neutral, very light, but it just makes the brows stand out a little bit more. And let's do the other one so that you match. Again, I'm doing the brown first. And then go right on top of it with the light end, the blonde end. So now we filled the brows and we're gonna do a little mascara just on the upper lash line. <laughs> You've got really nice long lashes, so a little mascara goes a long way. The good thing about doing concealer first is that if you do get makeup like we just got mascara on it, it wipes right away, which is really nice. And then we're going to do hint of a tint multiple stick on her eyes, cheeks, lips. Again, this is the 30 second makeover. We perfected her complexion, filled in her brows did a little mascara, and now we're doing the hint of a tint stick on her eyes, cheeks, and lips. Just gives a very natural rosy flush of color. And being a mother of four, I'm sure she doesn't have a lot of time. Am I right, Julia? Right. <laughs> so you want, if you want your makeup routine to be very quick and very easy, this is definitely the routine to go with. Um, if I wasn't talking my way through it, it really does take like about 30 seconds to a minute um, smile. And I'm using the multiple stick like a giant tinted lip balm. And take a look at the camera. Now this is a very complete routine. She has her complexion perfected, the brows are made a little more dense, and we added one product to her eyes, cheeks, lips, and she's ready to go, fast and easy. My pleasure. And if you wanted to take this day look into evening in a simple step, you can add a face gloss. And this is also a multiple product. It's for eyes, cheeks, lips. You can use it by itself, or you can add it on top of uh, the hint of a tint multiple stick. And this I call finger paint for your face. You just finger it onto your eyes, your cheeks, your lips, and go. And this color is called Sugar Glow. And then I'm going to use the lip brush to add a little bit to your lips. But you can also use your fingers. It just adds like a really nice shimmer to the lip. If you want, you can add a lip pencil, but you don't really need one. And voila, they don't make grandmothers like they used to. <laughs> Take a look. Wow. Great. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Good raw material. <laughs>